Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm in the workshop this afternoon. I'm just doing some service work on my KTM. Um, I've, I've been out on a few uh, longer rides just recently and uh, you know the bike really takes a pounding when you're out and in actual fact I'm just fitting new chain and sprockets on it. Trying out some new sprockets, not used this before, super sprocks. So uh, the last lot of sprockets I had on, I was a bit disappointed with, they didn't last uh, very long. So. That one's a little bit more expensive, going to give it a go. Anyway, I'm not going to make a, a video about changing the chain and sprockets. I've made videos about that before. What I want to talk about is something that came up whilst I was actually out uh, on this ride with one of the other riders I was with. And that's about your on-bike toolkit when you're, when you're um, out on the trails, the tools that you carry with you. Far more so than with ro road riding, it's really important to carry a toolkit with you, just a basic toolkit, because you're far more likely to, 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 to need it with trail riding, um, you know, getting a puncture, falling off, you know, knock it, knocking a mirror, it needs adjusting, or one of your hand guards, or break, you know, breaking a, a lever or something like that, or something vibrating loose you needing to tighten up. All those sort of things come up when, when you're riding on, on really rough terrain. And um, yeah, so really I just want to make two points that are really important. One is that you need to ensure that the tools that you're carrying with you are the right tools, the tools that you're going to need. And secondly, you need to make sure that you know how to use those tools. Now that might sound daft, but I'm talking uh, on the basis of something that's just come up recently with one of the other riders that I was with. I carry a reasonable toolkit with me when I'm out on, on the trails. KTM uh, provides you with a pretty good toolkit actually, so I'm, I'm lucky, I don't need to supplement it with much. And I, I carry it in this, this is a, a Wolfman bag, which I find, uh, and this straps on the front uh, mudguard, uh, I find that's just big enough to put my uh, KTM standard toolkit in and all the extra bits that I want. By the way, people ask me sometimes, you know, doesn't it come off on the front mudguard? Never in you know 10 years of trail riding with it with this on it's never come off once so it, it's not an issue it's a secure and convenient place to put it unlike some other manufacturers ktm provide you with a pretty good toolkit on the bike not only is it uh, fairly comprehensive but it's um you know it's pretty good quality as well but yeah the two things that are important one is you need to supplement that on-bike toolkit with other bits and pieces that you might need. So, you know, this is this is the, the basic uh, KTM toolkit. Um, you know, I've, I've added in there a spare spark plug. There's some more cable ties there. There's some rubber gloves if, you know, we get involved with a really messy job. My rubber gloves are stick to me. There's electrical tape there. Spare, a couple of spare split links there for uh, chains. Never needed it myself out on the trail but supply somebody else with that for a while there's a, a multi-tool there which has got a decent set of pliers on it spare levers some uh, quick uh, steel uh, metal putty now that's a sort of two-part uh, epoxy metal putty very good for repairs again a friend fell off the hold his radiator and i fixed it for him that's a siphon tube uh, for siphoning petrol somebody runs out of petrol you can siphon petrol from one bike to the other and a load more spare cable ties you can never have too many cable ties anyway my point is i want to just make make two two important points this about about toolkits um the ktm comes with a decent toolkit but even then you need to possibly supplement it with other things because um you know we all fit accessories to our bikes so like aftermarket hang uh, hand guards mirrors other bits and pieces like that they may have different fittings so you need to make sure that um you you have the right um you know tools to to tighten up or to to remove those fittings so something came up the other day uh, somebody's uh, uh, hand guard came loose uh, it was an aftermarket hand guard they didn't have the right tool just to tighten it up and all it needed was the you know the the bolt that goes in the end of the handlebar just nipping up but they didn't have the right tool the other th the other thing is you know you need to know that what tools you're carrying with you you need to know how to use them and you need to make sure that they do the job they work so for example if you have a look at this tool here that's quite a nice sort of little multi-tool in that there's a there's a you know sockets on on either end it even works as a little basic tire lever though i have to say i wouldn't fancy getting my tire off with that but but um yeah the thing is you know can you actually undo your axles yeah, axle nuts with with this nut so that one's from my rear axle can you uh, undo it because you may need to remove your wheel to fix a puncture or you might need to adjust your chain or something like that and if the tool doesn't actually work for you out in the trail you need to replace it with something that that will uh, do the job 
some people um, buy these sort of generic aftermarket toolkits to carry on the bike and there's a couple of problems well I have a couple of issues with those one is there's quite often redundant stuff in there that doesn't fit your bike not right for your bike so you need to go through it if you get one of those and just take out anything you need what's the point in carrying tools with you that don't actually fit your bike that you don't need uh, and, and the other thing is just make sure that they will all actually do the job that you've got there so sorry if that sounds like a, a bit of a rant but actually what I'm trying to do is just offer some 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 timely advice here based on what's happened to a couple of friends of mine recently and the, the two points I'm trying to get across is you know if you're carrying an onboard toolkit with you on your bike firstly make sure that you've got all the tools that you need there the right tools for the common jobs that you will need to do obviously you don't need tools for every job you're not going to be adjusting your your, your valves uh, at the side of the trail I hope um, but you know the, the basic things like tightening up loose fasteners adjusting things yeah, removing wheels those are the kind of things that you you need to have with you and secondly make sure that you know how to use those tools so make sure you've got an appropriate toolkit with good quality tools that work do the job and that you know how to to use them it could save you quite a lot of uh, anguish if you have an issue whilst you're out riding on the trails so happy riding thanks for watching see you again soon bye